Hello, hey, what's up, what's up? Been a while? So back in 2019, I was driving down the Auckland motorway, coming back from house sitting for some relatives when one of my tires just like exploded. I think I ran over a nail or something. There was like a loud bursting sound coming from behind me and it felt like it was coming from within the car itself. I heard like metal like scrape across the ground and my heart was pounding out of my chest and I was like, oh god, oh god, and I was like, holding onto my steering wheel for dear life as my car started like swerving out of control. My laptop was broken at the time so I took my entire desktop PC in my car and took it all the way to the house that I was house sitting so the latest build of Shivering Hearts was on it and the last time I did a manual backup for it was a few months ago. I tried to pull over to the very left side of the motorway and was scared shitless to move. Meanwhile all these cars were like flying around me like 100 kilometers an hour and then this bus just came right behind me and nearly skewered me from behind but luckily the driver swerved around me just in time before he killed me honestly that could have been it like i've had a few near-death experiences before but this was definitely the closest brush with death that i've had as all of this shit was happening i was like oh my god i need to back up my game holy shit i'm joking it was more like oh my god I'm going to die. So unfortunately, you can't back up your consciousness onto the cloud just yet. Not until Google rolls out the new update, I think like 2023 uh, is when they're going to beta test the consciousness cloud update. Um, but you can do the next best thing, uh, where you can automatically back up your game projects. And I will show you how. First, download Drive for desktop. I'll provide the link below. Second, install it. There's no choice for which directory it's installed, so it's pretty straightforward. Next, sign into your Google account through the browser. I'd say create a new account just for your backup. Give it a good password and don't share it with anyone or have it be publicly visible. Once you're signed in, you'll get this screen. You just have to close your browser or at least this tab. Then, Drive for Desktop will pop up in your bottom right icon next to your notifications. Left click the icon to bring it up. It says your files are up to date, but you haven't added anything. As you can see here, there's zero gigabytes out of 15. So you want to add your project folder. So click the gear icon on the top right, then go to preferences. Click add folder, navigate to your RPG Maker project and then select the folder. The option Sync with Google Drive is selected by default, um, that's all you have to do, so press done. Click save. The next one I don't think is entirely necessary but I do it anyway. I click the item below it, Google Drive hyphen folders from Drive, then I click mirror files instead of streaming it. I haven't tried but I don't think stream files works with RPG Maker directory so I do mirror files. Maybe it does work, I'm not too sure. But I like being able to work on it offline, especially when I don't have access to the internet for whatever reason. Confirm location, I select the default folder location. Then click save. You'll then get a prompt, some changes require Google Drive to restart. Click restart now. Then wait a while. The icon will disappear, but then will reappear after a while, but it will be grayed out. Once it's not grayed out and has color, then you're good to go. When you click it, you'll see all your files are being synced and uploaded onto Drive. Mine is currently 11 gigabytes, so it'll take a while for it to upload, but I'll just fast forward this bit. As you can see on the My PC or This PC directory, a new Google Drive specific letter or drive is allocated. There's nothing inside if you go into it, since all your files are on your main PC in its actual original directory. But if you're syncing to another PC or laptop and then you go into this drive, you can see the contents of your Google Drive from here. Next one, this is pretty optional but I like to reboot my PC. Once that's done, I'm not 100% sure if this is because of me rebooting my PC, but now there are green tick marks on all the files that have been synced to drive. Files that are syncing have a blue icon. Now you're done. Your project is now safely backed up onto the cloud and is safe from any system corruptions or hard drive corruptions etc. Just to show, I'll just make a tiny change in my project, like I'll just add this random NPC. I then save it, and then it shows all of my updated project files being synced onto Drive. If you log into Google Drive through your browser, you can see your whole project here. So yeah, that was pretty easy. In all seriousness, even though that story and that whole experience was like extremely fucked up to go through, I didn't actually experience any data loss. I was worried the immense rocking and the back and forth my PC experienced when in the car would have possibly damaged components within it like the hard drive but when i got home and tested everything uh, it turned out everything was fine but i have experienced blue screens of death before where the motherboard components were like aging or worn or 
the hard drive sectors became so bad that it started corrupting even the operating system and then just like brr, like blue screen. There was this one particularly bad experience where at one point I thought I lost everything, a whole year of progress from just like a hard drive corruption. But luckily through data recovery software, I was able to recover it to about two months before the latest backup, which is still a lot of work to recover, but it's, at least it wasn't a whole year. So that was really fun. I don't want any of you guys to go through what I went through. Like there are so many other obstacles to making a game and losing all your progress from hardware failure can easily kill any motivation to keep working on your projects. At that point, when I lost all my data, I thought it was over. Just pack it up, cut your losses, uh, do something else with your life, you know, take up bonsai gardening or jet skiing, something that doesn't cause so much stress in your life. A friend suggested I look into automated cloud backup like Dropbox or Google Drive. I was a bit intimidated at first, even though he assured me it was very easy. But after that experience, I knew I had to do it. So whether you're just starting out an RPG maker, or you're already months or years into your project, or if it's other game dev projects, or if it's even everyday sort of stuff, I highly recommend that you set up a cloud backup for your critical files. You can even roll back file versions to what they were previously. I don't really do this that much because I'm not too sure if, say, you roll back you know, class.js or any of this stuff, uh, whether they'll just screw up things in your project. But a couple of times I overwrote a certain drawing, like one of these background images, without keeping a backup of the original. And I was like stressing the hell out, but I was able to roll back the PNG files to the original, and that saved me so much time in the hassle. So I'd recommend that at least, if you end up needing that function. Another huge advantage is if you have a laptop or any other device that you want to work on RPG Maker with, like you want that flexibility of just taking your work elsewhere or to a different country, and you don't want to stick to working on your main desktop tower, you can sync multiple computers together. Any changes made on one PC will be reflected on the other one. It's super handy. It's not very intuitive, but it's extremely easy to do. All you have to do is go into your Google Drive project, right click here, and then click make offline. Then it'll automatically start syncing and downloading the files to work offline. Then when you're back online, it'll upload the latest files onto the cloud. Now you can rest assured that even when you get old and die peacefully in your sleep, when you're surrounded by your loved ones and you weep your last tear goodbyes, you reflect on your life well spent, you'll be happy to know that at least your RPG Maker project lives on and, and is safely backed up onto Google's servers for the rest of eternity. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of a dark concept to think about. What am I, what am I even on about? I've only really looked into Google Drive and Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox has a max 1 gigabyte limit, which is fine for RPG Maker projects using the default assets. I believe a fresh project with no custom assets is like 600 megabytes, but my project is probably like 13 gigabytes, so that didn't really work out. I also use a lot of uncompressed PNG files that I keep in the directory, uh, including like working files, like Photoshop files that aren't packaged into the final release, but I just work off of that project directory because it's so much simpler. Altogether, I guess it ends up more like 18 or 19 gigabytes. Sometimes it balloons up to like 23 gigabytes and then I have to like trim it down. Google Drive has a max 15 gigabyte limit, so I ended up creating another Google Drive account just for like flow of a data, like archived Photoshop files that I'm not using, and then I just dump it into there. Sometimes I do actually go back to those older files, like using those day and night filters or black and white filters for certain landscapes and then I pull that sort of data into new landscapes if I end up needing it. So it's very handy to have. Another note is that the 15 gigabytes does include all of your emails. So I recommend a dedicated Google Drive account that you don't use for anything else just for your backups because you don't want this email visible or shared publicly um, so that random people can access it if they manage to break in or guess your password or something. But who knows, anything can happen to your data. I back up everything manually as well now, on top of the automated backup. Like every month or so I copy paste 
just a snapshot of the project into another hard drive. And I also invested in a NAS Synology 420 Plus, which also uses active backup for business that also backs up my RPG Maker project along with Google Drive. And it also backs up my entire C drive, like my operating system. But those can be pretty expensive for like the majority of people, like 95% of people, I highly recommend using the free route using Google Drive's backup software unless your project exceeds 15 gigabytes and you can't use a, or you just don't want to use a second account for whatever reason. If you honestly need more space, then I'd recommend a NAS, as I don't think the pricing plans for Google Drive or Dropbox like 100 gigabytes a month, like I don't think they're worth it in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Even professional game studios lose their source data, like infamously the source data for Silent Hill 2 and Fallout 1 were lost, according to the developers of the Silent Hill HD collection and Fallout Tactics respectively. And there was that incident with the No Man's Sky studio where their office was flooded and they lost so much work. It was actually a miracle that they got all their stuff back. So it can happen to anyone and I don't want that to happen to you. Like it's the, it's the worst feeling to have. Wow, it's the 17th of December at the time of this recording. Uh, happy New Year, uh, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, all that jazz. I hope this video comes up before Christmas so that message uh, is relevant. <laughs> Take care and see you in 2023. Bye.